That's right, Bitcoin's biggest threat is quantum computers. Something that sounded like a sci-fi fantasy years ago is potentially on the verge of cracking all encryption and cryptography. What does this mean for Bitcoin? Cryptographers are racing to build a workaround. Within a decade, quantum computers is expected to hack all cell phones and email addresses, including Bitcoin wallets. The race is on for a quantum safe cryptocurrency. However, there is one that has already been created. All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And that intro video was not made to cause any FUD. It's merely to inform you guys and educate you guys of the possibilities that could happen one day with quantum computers and technology advancing being a threat to Bitcoin and most cryptocurrencies. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to happen, but it is a possibility and that's something that you have to factor in into your investment decisions and your portfolio decisions when you're holding cryptocurrencies. Technology is evolving at a rapid rate. Year after year, it's getting faster, it's getting more powerful. And why would Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and blockchain technology be any different? Bitcoin and the type of algorithm it uses could one day be obsolete. Just like VHS tapes and beepers are obsolete today, but back when they were popular, they were very useful technologies and people used them all the time. However, the technology advanced and we got a more reliable, more efficient technology. And that's what I'm looking at here with Quantum Resistant Ledger, QRL. Okay, this blockchain is 100% quantum resistant because of the factors they put in place into this coin. So we're going to look over this and we're going to look at the possibilities of using QRL as a hedge against the market, the potential with this coin to one day possibly be in the top 10 of all crypto market caps because of that hedge aspect. One day people could use QRL as a store of value similar to Tether, similar to other cryptos. I'm just going to go over a brief overview of QRL and exactly what this does and why this opportunity is something you definitely don't want to overlook and how I think you should definitely take a small piece, 1-2% to 2 of your crypto portfolio and rework it into QRL so you are holding some just in case that one day that this thing does become a store of value for people that are worried about the possibility of a quantum computer hacking most encryption and especially Bitcoin. Because guys, we see that technology is really advancing. We see this huge curve upwards and it's really started around this area, all right, around the technology boom the early 90s into the 2000s that's when everything really started to change you look at Moore's law here Moore's law and the number of transistors on microchips doubles every two years right going back to the 1970s you can see how just the microchips have continued to double they've not only gotten powerful but they've gotten smaller able to fit more information into smaller sizes and be much much more powerful so this is back when Bitcoin was 2010 all right and look how much we've already gone up since then all right and look how much we've gone up since here all right so there's no reason to think that this technology can't continue to advance we look at just the law of accelerating returns in the 1900s we had Charles Babbage invention was designed to solve computational and logistical problems. This was in the 1900s. All right, Colossus, the electronic computer with 1,500 vacuum tubes to help the British crack German codes during World War II. All right, the Univac, the first commercially marketed computer, took up 943 square feet. It took up a whole room. Okay. Then Apple came out with this Apple II. It got smaller. Notice the technology got more powerful and smaller over time. Then you have the Power Mac in 2000, right? And eventually they are projecting that this is going to lead 
to the quantum computers being even smarter than human brain power one day because the way that this technology works, it continues to expand and evolve and it can surpass things that even the human brain is not capable of because it's just rapidly growing. You have artificial intelligence. You have all these different technologies in play advancing this technology. So this leads us back to quantum resistant ledger. Okay, this project is fairly new and it's fairly powerful. Okay, a blockchain platform secured by XMSS. XMSS is a NIST approved quantum secured digital asset signature scheme. So you guys can read this over, check this out. All right, but this URL digital asset is a secure against emerging cryptographic threats. Okay, that's what they are guys. And not only that, but they are developer friendly. Okay, which means, yes, that's right. It means easy to secure smart contracts. So developers can actually make smart contracts on the QRL blockchain. This is their own blockchain. Okay, I have tested out myself. I downloaded their wallet. Very easy. You can get on a mobile device or a computer. I just use mine on my phone. You can store your coins on that and use it to send and receive. So this is very good guys not only that there's mining they have mining okay think about this as bitcoin early on except this has solved most of bitcoin's problems here okay you have smart contract capabilities you have mining you have quantum resistant technology quantum resistant ledger right this is their team here you guys can look it over as well all right so really really interesting project and to me like i said i just think this will one day it's very young right now but eventually this can be a store of value for people that are worried about the possibility of quantum computers hacking the encryption of cryptocurrencies especially bitcoin that sha-256 hashing algorithm okay so i'm going to show you a few other articles here there is some that are more positive that say that there isn't a chance that SHA-256 can be hacked. Apparently SHA-256 can be quantum resistant, but then I see other articles saying that it is possible one day with a strong quantum computer to hack into a Bitcoin wallet. And what it would need, it would need the public address and would basically work backwards to then find the private key off of that. But the good news is Bitcoin does have a lot of encryption technology that makes that very difficult, if not impossible, to crack with our current technology. But like I showed you with the charts, guys, the technology is rapidly advancing. This isn't something I'm expecting to happen within the next month, within the next year, within the next five years. This is something I could see happening within the next 10 to 20 years when this really becomes a problem when you have these companies that make these quantum computers they can become more accessible to the public the public gets their hands on it this is just a more long-term approach that's what i try to look for in this space okay imagine if somebody showed you bitcoin in 2010 and they were talking about how it's better than credit cards and the banking system and all of that you wouldn't have really believed it at that time well maybe you have but this is what I'm trying to share with you guys about QRL. This is something that is very, very beginning stages and just something that I really would recommend. You know, I'm not a financial advisor, but I would really recommend just taking one to 2% of your current crypto portfolio and holding some quantum resistant ledger tokens. You can hold it on your smartphone. You can hold it on your computer. You can back up your seed phrases. Also, they use a more advanced seed phrase which is about 40 words. And also for their private key hash, it's 100 digits versus Bitcoin is only around 40 or 50 digits. Okay, so they have different securities in place, guys. You guys can check it out and see what you think for yourself. Because guys, you, you do see articles like this published, okay, that they're saying within a decade, quantum computing is expected to be able to hack cell phones, bank accounts, email addresses, and Bitcoin wallets. Okay, so no guarantee that it does, but what I like to do with portfolios and especially crypto portfolios 
is have a plan B, C, D, and as many plans as I can. Because I do hold a bag of Bitcoin. I do hold a bag of Ethereum. I do hold some altcoins. If quantum computing does hack the blockchain, I stand to lose a ton of money as most of you guys probably will as well. That's why I decided to hedge into the quantum resistant blockchain here. Because let's just look at it real quick, guys. All right. Because let's say that this catches on and in the next five years, there's more threats of this potentially happening. People are a little worried. And this quantum resistant ledger goes from rank 680 with a market cap of 17 million up to the top 10 of the cryptos with a multi-billion dollar market cap. Okay, just think about the potential with what could happen there. All right, so let's look at it. Okay, they only have 105 million coins. This isn't something with a ton of unlimited supply. This is a mineable cryptocurrency. Okay, so basically the only coins circulating are mostly the ones that have been mined, you know, with mining rewards. Okay, so let's just do a quick calculation of that. So let's say that this does reach tether status within the next five years. Okay, and in the next five years, you know, this crypto market cap is going to be much more than 1.5 trillion, right? It could be potentially 5 trillion. It could be potentially 10 trillion, or it could just still be one and a half trillion. But even if it is, Okay, let's just do a quick calculation. Let's say that, let's say that QRL reaches 62 billion market cap. What would that mean for the price of a QRL token? Okay, well, let's do that calculation right now. I had to switch calculators because that calculator didn't go up that high. Uh, so let's see. So 62 billion market cap divided by 105 million coins would put the price of a QRL at $590. Okay, right now we're sitting at 23 cents. Does that look like a good opportunity to you guys? Whether this quantum threat is real or not, 23 cents for a blockchain with smart contract potential, a more secure ledger, All right? Under a dollar, really? When Dogecoin is sitting at 24 cents? A meme coin that does nothing and this is an actual technology that has mining and smart contract capabilities man something is out of balance here so that's what you have to look for as investing you have to look at things that are out of balance and this is out of balance okay so let's just say you put a hundred dollars into this crypto today at 23 cents okay let's see what that could potentially be all right so 100 divided by 23 that'll get you roughly 434 QRL coins so we said that it was could potentially be $590 at that point if it did match tethers market cap you're looking at a quarter of a million dollars guys okay quarter of a million dollars so your hundred dollars would potentially 2500 X all right that is a bet I am willing to take as a bet I'm willing to take and I'm willing to hold it five or ten years to see that through okay because that's what people did when they bought Bitcoin people bought Bitcoin in 2010 2011 for a dollar three dollars right look at their returns today so can you have that vision can you have that vision to see these things before the masses just like when people saw Bitcoin before the masses just like when they saw Ethereum before the masses at a few dollars when it was 20 or 30 dollars on coinbase okay early on people saw the smart contract capabilities they saw what this can do you see the same with quantum ledger something that is different is more secure that has a post quantum secure digital signature scheme has smart contract capabilities guys this is something to look at of course it's not financial advice anything can happen i still hold bunch of regular cryptos and I hope that nothing does happen to those cryptos but I want to be prepared I want to be ahead of the crowd I want to think five ten years ahead of people because that's how you get rich you don't get rich by just going day to day and seeing what the masses are doing 
You have to go ahead of them. You have to think ahead. You have to get into things when it's uncomfortable, when it doesn't make any sense, when it seems crazy. That's when you want to invest. All right. So how do you get this coin? You can get this over here at Coin Tiger. I used it myself. Just be careful. There is some slippage because there's not much of this coin available. Okay. There's not much of this coin floating around. It's only on this exchange and Bitrix right now. Okay, Coin Tiger you can use, no KYC. You can withdraw up to five Bitcoin in 24 hours, no KYC needed. They also accept Binance Smart Chain deposits for BUSD. So that's what I did. They may also do that for Tether. That would be the way to go if you can just deposit Binance Smart Chain Tether and then trade that for Bitcoin because they only have a Bitcoin trading pair here. All right, so what I did is I deposited BUSD Binance Smart Chain. I had to trade that for Tether. That's the only pair that they have here. And then I traded my Tether for Bitcoin and then traded the Bitcoin for QRL. And I withdrew the QRL to my wallet that I have on my smartphone. Because guys, you know, the race is on for this. And there are companies trying to not only create coins, but create different forks and things to help current Bitcoin blockchain and different blockchains as well. The only problem I see with that is if you really need to get all the miners to agree to a census and agree to a fork, that's pretty tough to do. There's not like, you know, a whole group of the Bitcoin miners and people you can just call on the you know, board of directors for Bitcoin and, you know, they can make a decision. You know, there's no Satoshi Nakamoto running around anywhere. OK, so this is going to be pretty tough to get them to. All agree to something but maybe they do maybe they do come out with a fork that works flawlessly and they can fork the blockchain to a blockchain that is quantum resistant maybe they do do that but that's gonna take a lot of work that's gonna take a lot of organizing and who's gonna be in charge of that who's gonna be running that for Bitcoin Satoshi I don't think so so that's just something to think about guys there's a blockchain that already has done that and that's something where I want to just put some of my money into Okay, the biggest threat, here we go, you know, you got more of just is a potential threat. But here's a little bit of silver lining for you guys because I do want to share both sides. I don't want to just be all, you know, FUD and gloom. There is some positives and there is some sides looking at it that, you know, is saying that SHA-256 is safe. SHA-256 could potentially be unbreakable by quantum computers you know SHA-256 is theorized to be quantum resistant okay but that's just a theory that is just a theory we don't know because then at the end of the article the guy goes on to say that there could be a chance as the technology gets more powerful and as this hardware improves and the chips get stronger over time that could be a problem and we've seen from history that Technology continues to grow over time and it expands year after year at a more rapid pace than we've ever seen before. This main algorithm here, Shor's algorithm, would be the main algorithm to hack encryption. I don't know all this, you know, technical terms. Basically, quantum computers use qubits instead of bits, you know, ones and zeros. They are more advanced than just using ones and zeros. They use qubits. And that is just a more evolved version of computing, which makes it more efficient and more fast. And this Shor's algorithm could potentially be used to crack major encryption. Now, even if it does crack major encryption, like, you know, email addresses, cell phones, examples, you know, those companies can improve that technology and fix that. All right. Your bank account. Someone hacks into your bank account and takes all the money. Well, the bank can follow that money and they won't let anybody take that money out and they'll just give you your money back. Okay, your cell phone gets hacked. Well, hopefully you don't have anything too personal on there. All right, email addresses, same thing. You know, they'll come up with a way to defend that. But the thing with that is you have companies that are being paid to do that. Who is paying people to do that for Bitcoin? Who is gonna come together for the Bitcoin town hall meeting, the Bitcoin board of directors meeting and discuss all this stuff? nobody okay nobody's doing that so just something to think about guys like I said it's just something that I've been seeing a lot lately and I think that is kind of what's being a catalyst to 
the sell-off that we've seen here from Bitcoin because people are really starting to realize, you know, is Bitcoin really unhackable? Is this really the future? Okay, or is this just the first type of technology of crypto, which it is, it was the first cryptocurrency, but could that potentially be like the first beeper? Could this be like the first VHS tape? You know, like the first iPod, okay, where it's just the first generation of it, but it's not necessarily the best overall product. It's just the first of its kind. Now, how long will it last? Yes, VHS players lasted a while, beepers lasted a while. You know, iPods lasted a while, but those eventually all got replaced. Does that mean Bitcoin one day will get replaced? Potentially. Potentially in the next 10, 20, 30 years, will we even be talking about Bitcoin anymore? Or will there be a new crypto that takes over that is more safe and quantum resistant? Well, time will tell, but I definitely want to hedge my bets and I want to have my chips diversified just in case something like that is coming down the pipeline, I am prepared. So I hope you guys enjoyed this explanation video. And like I said, I did not make this to cause FUD or any type of fear. I just want to show you guys what is really out there and explain the facts and what is really going on. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys get yourself a bag of QRL. Hold that puppy for at least five years. And I'm telling you, if you put a couple hundred bucks in there today, not, a, not financial advice, but in the next five years to 10 years, you could be looking at a million dollars or more. That's where I see that potentially going with all the potentials behind that blockchain. And that's when you want to get in, guys. You don't want to buy in at something when it's already in the top 10 of a market cap, like Cardano, like Dogecoin. Okay. You, don't, you don't want to be buying those. You want to be buying things that are in the top 200, 300, 400, 500 that nobody knows about yet that could potentially break out one day. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to take a stand and that's where you want to take a risk. Yes, can you hold top cryptos? Of course, of course. But that doesn't mean that those have to be your end all, be all of your portfolio. Definitely keep an open mind and don't get stuck on any one investment. All right, guys, so that's all I had today. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on all of these topics. I'll be definitely interested to hear your thoughts and your opinions about this topic. So I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. Take care and take charge. And until the next time, we will talk again. Creative Crypto. Out.